Mage, and yet tis unlike one in near every respect. Such as this bowstring. It looks quite the same, but the tension is altogether different. I suppose that, that comes from using different materials. Well, why do you stare? Perhaps you find it absurd that I should marvel so at a bow, not of elven make. I suppose I sought inspiration, for I, I confess I find myself rather lost. My aim has suffered of late, such that my wayward arrows simply would not strike true. The timing could not be more unwelcome, as my skill with a bow is to be put on trial anon. Forgive me. I should not expect you to know of our ways. I, I speak of the trail of archery, a time-honored elven custom. Every elf undergoes this trial when they reach maturity. Till we succeed, we are not considered to have come of age. I have been training most diligently, yet my skills ne'er seem to take shape. Indeed, I fear my aim has only worsened with each new failing. I grew so vexed with myself that I sought to learn a foreign form of archery rather than master my own peoples. Thanks to you, I now have the means to do so. Though I dare say I Yo, peace and love, brother. On my own. Say, would you be willing to give me a demonstration? It might be just what I need to find my aim. Please, sir, you give to me this bow. I only ask that you show me how to wield it. I would expect no less from a man of culture, brother. Yeah, I'm, this is me just reaching here after... Um, about 10 hours of just exploring and getting lost, man. Absolutely love this game. For the eons. Yo, what's good, my Gs? H, hope all's well. Henry, hope all's well. Pharaoh, hope all's well. Many thanks. I'm indebted to you twofold. But this is no place to practice. Would you be so kind as to meet me by the ruins north of Trevo Mine? That's where I train, you see. I'll be able to concentrate on your display of bowmanship much better there. Yo, Henry, um, Godspeed, and I hope you have a great time um, on your family vacation. Um, and, yeah, you're going to really enjoy it because I'm sure they'll have it um, even further optimized by the time you get back. Jay, um, that's love, brother. I think I'm only level 10 right now. <laughs> so I have, a, I have a ways to go to catch up to you. But I did kill my first uh, Cyclops, so look forward to going out there and hunting more. I just... Um, picked up some new gear like you know finally met an armorer for the first time so things are going uh, coming along swimmingly yeah h and we spoke about this brother so like yeah as soon as um they they patch that give you that uh performance option that you need um i'm sure you're gonna fall in love with this because you know, you're also a man of culture the way that you love elden ring i think that this is a game that's gonna speak to you um, in the same way, and you know, between you and I, and, um, and and you know, everyone else who's following me on Twitter right now, I think this might actually overtake it. You know, I don't want to like be hyperbolic and take my time with it, but you know, so far so good. I do hope you'll join me. For now, I shall bid you farewell. Yeah, that's love, Jay. Right now I'm a thief. 
Uh, by secondary vocation, I'm vacillating between mage and archer. I think I might actually do archer. Um, but mage I'll definitely do afterwards. I think my main pawn is an archer right now. And um, I think her secondary vocation will be mage. So I'm definitely going to level her up in time. She's about level 9, I think, now. Let me see. Oh, okay. No, she's level 10. Okay. So, like, yeah, I'm starting to level her up right now. What is Max vocation? Is it, like, level 10 or something like that? Because she's only rank 4 right now. So, yeah, I think once I've gotten her very close to uh, Max vocation, I'm going to switch to Mage. And as far as my character, I'm vacillating between Mage and Archer. Because I always want to have balance. Uh, you know, um, with my squad. So, and I always want there to be some synergy between myself and my pawn. Um, so right now I'm melee. She provides, you know, range assistance. Um, and even if I decide to go with Archer, I may actually go with Warrior. Oh shit, no. Damn. Actually, no, I may, I, I may make her a uh, sorcerer. Can I do that? Yeah. Um, and for me, I may actually look at the warrior vocation because I always want to be able to provide support. Um, at that point, I can swap out my pawns right now, which are which is a mage and a war, uh, and like a fighter respectively, to an archer and maybe a thief or you know something else of my choosing. So, like you said, there's a lot of there's a lot of depth to this game. Um, yeah, this. Yeah, I'm gonna be playing this for a long time, H. Yeah. It's official, bro. I also found something out um, that may not affect you, Jay, because I've not rested yet. I've been kind of cheap, or rather, I've been spending my gold on like gear um, and stuff like that. So, like, I haven't really been resting like I've been cheating in terms of doing that by like, you know, sitting down on one of those benches and, you know, dozing off, which, you know, I think triggers a, a, a uh, either, I guess, a diurnal or a nocturnal cycle. Um, so I've never actually rested at an end yet. I'm going to actually do that here so that I can actually give my pawn an ID because apparently because I've not rested, like, she's not been registered. She hasn't been picked up by their servers yet. So I can't even share my pawn now. And, yo, I would also recommend, Jay, that you share your pawn ID out if you're, you know, if you're so inclined because um, that'll help you level her up. You know what I mean? And so, I, you know, I could hire her or anyone could hire her. And whatever experience she gains, she'll come back and, and bring to you, which, you know, you might already know, so. So right now, this is my first time. Um, okay. Yeah, so now I'm, like, familiarizing myself with, like, this is the capital. So you know how, like, people are talking about, like, their frame drops or whatever? God, hell. That's a dope name, bro. Um, and, Jay, I don't know if you can speak to your experience in the city because... This is where they say, like, the frame drops happen. I've not seen anything yet. Like, this is, I just looked up and recognized that this is the statue from, like, the, uh, oh, the luck. opening scene. Chest. So, so far, so good. Oh, damn, that's crazy. Yeah, I hope I uh, level up a little bit before shit like that starts happening to me. <laughs> That's crazy. Well met, son. How might I be of service? It is a ladder. Shall we see where it leads? Welcome to Bjorn's Armory. You'll find only pieces of the finest quality lying in these shelves. And quality is what you need if you want to survive. So if all you check the price, just remember, 
Misers die early deaths. I'm picking up what you're putting down, Henry. And um, it makes perfect sense to me. I haven't really been keen on um, getting anything that's covering my Arisen's face yet. So, not really interested in any helmets. But I'm sure that would help from a uh, defense perspective. And I have to start thinking about it, like less about fashion and more about uh, min maxing, I suppose. It feels, it feel, it does feel pretty organic that way. Um, I'm actually pretty resistant. You know what I mean? A lot of times when. Um, Pawns are trying to lead me somewhere. I always veer off and end up finding something else. Um, but I do like that, you know, at any given time. I love the AI, you know what I mean? The way that, like, at any given time, as if you break away from the direction that they're pulling you in, they'll automatically, you know, reset, and, you know, some line will, um, will populate or will drop saying, oh, we can just go back to what I want to do later. Like, you know what I mean? And so... There's just, there's this like sort of simulated sense of agency in that regard. It makes you feel like, you know, you're always in control. You know what I mean? So like, whereas there are systems in place to help you, um, to help guide you, you know, sort of subtly to where you need to go, there's always total freedom on your part to just break away from whatever it is the game wants you to do. And I've tested this in the midst of like main missions, like, you know, so I, I do appreciate that freedom. Like, obviously it behooves you to, you know, finish what you start, but it's interesting. Like, so for instance, like, let's say like you're, you know, you're monster hunting, but like you guys have to retreat. And then in the midst of having to retreat, you know, you, you come across another quest. Like the fact that you can kind of juggle those things, you know, dynamically and how there might be some impacts depending on how long you take to complete it is, um, is something interesting. You know what I mean? It's something I've never really done before. So or rather, I guess, experienced before. So um, it's been really cool to to see. I guess this is what they envisioned, like, when trying to create, like, um, emergent, like, uh, interlocking, like, um, gameplay systems. So, so it all seems to work really well so far. Like, I'm pretty much blown away, bro. Officially. Yeah, that's just crazy, Jay. Like, and actually, people are like using their pawns to like reach previously, like thought before, like I guess unreachable places. So, like, I'm pretty interested to to do that. I'm not sure if it's if there's like a skill tied to being able to throw your pawn very far, but um, it's pretty interesting, H. Yeah, it's crazy, bro. Like, you can throw your pawn. I saw somebody throw their pawn across a ravine um and the pawn landed and then the main character ran um up to the opposite cliff and dropped down and to jay's point their pawn caught them and then they were they had access to this cave that like i'm not sure i mean there, there are probably like different ways like for instance like like the mystic spear and um move set like allows for interesting um traversal hacks so, like, you know, there are certain, like, attacks that, you know, allow you to dash great distances. So, like, you might have, like, that same person might have made, might have been able to use something like that to cross that same distance. But, like, throwing your pawn across a fucking, you know, a distance that you can't cover and then having them catch you from a distance that would have otherwise killed you is, like, that's crazy, bro. Like, I... Like, they really, they really, like, I think, said, like, how do we create, like, an intra like, a true sandbox? Like, you know what I mean? Like, to allow them to really try to do whatever comes to their mind, whether or not, like, it happened. Like, okay, something actually that I appreciate is that I haven't 
ran, I haven't run into an invisible wall yet. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the level of freedom that I feel I have here. Like, in all the hours that I've played, I've not, you know, walked into a, a boundary that I couldn't get to. Like, you can walk anywhere, and, it, like, the game might not want you to go there, so narratively it might kill you, right? But, like, there are no invisible walls. There are, like, there are no boundaries. Like, it feels like anyway. Even though you know, like, you know, you're obviously playing within, like, a contained, controlled environment. So, yeah. Hats off to them, man. For real. It's dope so far. Okay, I can't afford a lot of this stuff yet. But it's good to know that the stuff exists. And I like how, like, the different gear is actually tied to um, the different vocations or classes. So it makes it pretty easy for you to, to navigate shit. Um, yeah, it's just fire, bro. I figured I'd stream a little bit of this. Uh, but, you know, a lot of this is going to be done offline, like, Yeah, like the amount of tinkering that you're doing, like the amount of time that I'm wasting now just looking at the different armors, like, like no one's going to watch this. And they shouldn't. <laughs> oh, wow. Some flash shit, I see. So it doesn't add any weight. Okay, so they specifically have yeah and that's all i'm gonna be doing for a minute jay for real like i'm really not even trying to progress the story just yet I'm, I'm trying to actually i feel like i should be able to discover like the mystic spirit hand vocation somewhere in the world like i don't know where it is so now that i have an inkling that that might be true um i'm definitely going to um you know make some time to Try to find it. And then once I've done that, I'll definitely start moving the story forward. Or maybe, you know, I'll continue exploring. Right? That's the freedom that we have as gamers, yo. Just do what we want. Okay, so these don't seem to have any, like, quote-unquote physical attributes, like defense or tangible attributes, I should say. But they do have different elemental and Status effect resistance. So in addition to like whatever, maybe trying to match your style, um, they give you passive to consider as well. That's pretty fine. Anything I get now would be for the sake of getting it. So I'm probably just going to chill. And the cheapest one doesn't really match with anything that I'm rocking. So I'm good. And I'm not going anywhere. I don't think that we have to deal with those type of resistances just yet. So, I'm good. I have this ring already, I think. And I have this ring already as well. Yeah, I've already updated my boots. Many thanks. I appreciate the business. All right. Like all the icons on the screen, I'm just kind of seeing for the first time because yeah, look at like from tents to blankets to chairs to cooking pots. Ah, okay, so this is where I can get like cooking um, or camping supplies. Need anything? Ah, he sells us Perry Stone. The shit that people were bitching about on the internet. Interesting. Otherwise, sells camping equipment, various armors, and concoctions and detoxions. Damn, 150,000, what the fuck? What's so good about these things? Oh, thank you. I'm 
Right, Jay, did you see that? 150 G's, man. For vanity, I guess if you got it, right? Yeah, if you want to complete the fit, I suppose. Otherwise, it's worse than what I currently have now, so I'm going to show. Me and the pawn are twinning. I think I'm going to do that for now, but, like, if she gets some fly shit that I can't rock, then I'm going to be all right with that as well. I have not. I don't even. I didn't even know you could get a haircut yet. Like I, I heard about that. Ten racks. Oh, that's where you can change your character, right? Like that's like the character creator, right? That's not so bad. Business could be better, but I've weathered worse. Stop by again soon. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I'm glad I jumped off that. Um. Criticism ship ASAP, bro. At first, I misunderstood the quote or the headline related to fast travel in the game. But like once I I read the article and now there's a worthy prize. There was nuance. So far away. I, I understood. I, I understood, and I just had to back off, man. But like people are still complaining about that. Content creators mostly. They have to farm those views no matter what. Have you um been able to orient yourself as far as like when your pawns point stuff out to you yet, Jay? Because I feel like it's I'm starting to like sometimes I feel like I see what they see pretty quickly, and other times like not so much. Okay, because they've been talking about a ladder. And I don't see it yet. Fancy a look at my wares. These are like an exclamation point. Is that stuff that I can pick up, maybe? Fancy a look at my wares. Yeah, Henry, and I mean, I think that that's Fancy Entry's point of view, to be honest with you. Okay, got you. Appreciate you, Jack. Yeah, it's gonna take me a little while, I think, to uh, familiarize myself with the map and like the environment. Ah, in the daytime. I see. Got you. Yeah, but Henry, I think that like your criticism was like was more than fair. Um, what's good for the for the goose should always be good for the gander. But I think that like. We should stop being surprised that we make concessions for things that we enjoy. Like, you know, I'm definitely guilty of it. I'm sure we all are. So, you know, it's less about, I just got to be less Might as well take a look while you're here, um, right? likely to, to jump the gun. You know what I mean? Like, just be a little more conscientious and, you know, I think I'll be just fine. You know, you know people can do what they want. I mean, I think in general, like, it's always it's asinine like to talk about it if you're going to continue to buy the games that have it you know if you're going to talk about it like sort of like hey i don't like this i understand that but like you know outside of that it just doesn't really seem like there's any point in complaining about it um for any extended period of time anyway that's just my opinion okay so they already found a chest for me Is this the end? Oh. This is yeah, I'm still Jack. I thought it might come in useful. Yo, my guy Ovius is so cool, man. I haven't changed him, even though I've met like higher level mages. One of the coolest uh, pawns I've ever met, man. So far, anyway. Okay, now the frames are dropping a little bit. Oh. oh I think we're okay now. Huh? 
Now I have to find the captain. Oh, there you are. What's up, my brother? Oh, she's a beast string. I like her haircut. Welcome to the Star Drop In. We serve all manner of fine ales here. Shall I pour you a cup to start you off? Yes, ma'am. Why not? Oh, no. Shit. I don't want to spend that much money. I want to just chill. Nah, let me buy around. That's love, Jay. I hope this leads to something. Yes, sir. I'll take it. Okay. Welcome to the Star Drop In. We serve all manner of fine ales here. Shall I pour you no. a cup to start you off? Sit back, relax, and enjoy the finest brews in all of Vernworth. Okay, so this is a tavern. I still need to go to the end. I can't really spend that much more money because I don't think it's going to be cheap to pass the time here. Uh, let me talk to Brent. But before I do that, let me do a little exploring. Yeah, the frames drop a little bit inside the tavern. This is my first time noticing it. Your Majesty, your timing is impeccable. I just thought to call for you. It is not a matter for prying ears. Pray, let us speak out here. As I informed you when last we spoke, the palace is filled with the Queen Regent's sycophants. Should Deesa denounce your majesty as a false arisen, few would elect to doubt her. Yet if we are to prove your identity, I believe there is no occasion more suitable than the coronation. It was delayed so that the sovereign, that is, the false arisen, could convalesce in the palace, but the date has now been set. The central players in the court ought all be in attendance. It would be a fine opportunity to display your majesty's power. None would be able to deny that you are the true arisen then. There is a problem, however. Entry to such an event is limited to the chosen few. Only select members of the nobility and citizens who have contributed greatly to Vermont's continued prosperity will be granted entry. If your majesty is to be counted among them, you will need to attend to a number of tasks. Pray, allow me to summarize them for you. Of all those who serve the Queen Regent, there is but one who I have no doubt will lend his support to your majesty's cause. I refer to Waldar, a magistrate. Many a time a Deezer demanded Waldor amend the Code of Vermont to her own benefit. And many a time has the magistrate refused her, for he's loyal to none but the spirit of the law. As a result, he now sits in a cell beneath the palace. Our laws dictate that your majesty is our rightful ruler. Thus, as the staunchest supporter of the law known to the palace, I'm quite confident that Waldor will be willing to vouch for your majesty. What say you? Might you be willing to aid me in arranging the magistrate's release? Very well. I would not think to press you on this matter. Perhaps you would consider taking on a different task then.
You will need to infiltrate the palace to gather evidence of Deezer's misdeeds. I hesitate to ask something so dangerous of I'm you. I'm probably going to do the same, brother. Yet I fear we have few other options. I have attempted to do the same through my own channels up for now. Though, I have yet to uncover so much as a whisper of her plots. Would that I could undertake the task myself, but my station prohibits me from reckless action. What say you, your majesty? Might I ask this task of you? Very well. I would not think to press you on this matter. Perhaps you would consider taking on a different task then. The citizenry have called upon my soldiers to cull monsters that plague the land. I dare say, it would be a fine contribution were you to accomplish these tasks unaided. What say you? Might I ask for your cooperation in this matter? I thank you, your majesty. There are three locales that I've seen significant trouble of late. The first is Trevo Mine, to the northwest. We've had reports of goblins swarming in great numbers. Next is Half Village, west of Burnworth. I believe soldiers have already been dispatched to call an infestation of Saurians there. Finally, there is a call for someone to locate a group of soldiers tasked with delivering freight. They were last seen crossing the second bridge on the eastern edge of Vermin. Off we go then. There are beasts to be slain. I foresee naught but success on the path that lies ahead. Yeah, um, I think that makes perfect sense. And what it looks like um, is that I'll be able um, there, there these tasks I'll have to complete in whatever order I choose, but I will have to complete them as a part of advancing the main story, it seems. Uh, so I do like that, and I'm definitely I'm trying to level up. So I hope that um, on my adventures, I'm able to find the Mystic Spearhand vocation. So we are definitely of the same mind. Did you fight her or did you run? Uh, <laughs> okay. Respect. You said nah. I feel you. All right, now we need to find the end before I spend any more money. I need to rest and reload my health and stamina. Okay, got it. And I got Brienne of Tarth on my team, as you can see here. She's official, man. Or not been fucking shit up together. What to do? Get out of my way, Sam. Okay. So I know where the tavern is. Take this. It is something I found. I wanted you to have it. Thank you, Obvious. Yeah, man. Arisen in the building, fam. Okay, so I know where the armor is. I know where the tavern is. Oh, the inn. Is it that? Is it the building with the flag on it? Maybe. Let's go see.
about his name. So door's locked right now. I wonder what this is. Not the end. That's a tavern. Now, look, Master, a treasure chest. We shall have to find a way to reach it. I love her voice. There's a bench up there. It's like an armory or something. This ladder can take us to new heights. Perhaps new discoveries await us above. How subtle. Oh, no, I don't. That was in here already. Right, this is where we started out. All right, so it's like a barracks. Got you, got you, got you. Oops, sorry, lady. <laughs> You're always such fun to talk to. Yo, Flora, watch out for this guy, man. Looks a little, a little too old for you. Grab my eye on you, son. I was in here already as well. Upstairs. I'll pop open the chest. Thank you. Hello. Welcome, good sir. My service oh, is the styling of hair and the painting of faces. Should you so desire, I can help you find your truest self. Yet. Yeah, it's just crazy. So it seems like I have to unlock all of these as levels, perhaps, and then I'll be able to modify my appearance at will. Much obliged. I guess. Yeah, I'll take my time. I like my I like my uh, my origin. My dude's official right now, so we're good. Now I know that she exists, and I can log her as a favorite. I have a bad habit of sometimes not reading their names, though, while they're talking to me. Um, no. Oh, could be, yeah. First impressions oh, count for much. If you Oops, like, sorry. much obliged, sir. I said wrong. Okay. 
Okay, so I found the barber. Yeah, man, we gotta come down in prices, bro. Now there's a worthy price. If only it went so far away. You seem well. Okay. Ah, uh, the end. I think I found the end finally. Okay. The noble quarter. So the rich people, they live there in the highest parts of the city. To be gathered here, I'll wager. I that seems to be a familiar trope. As much as we can carry. Interesting. This game's gorgeous, bro. Beautiful. What are you? Me? I'm just going for a stroll. All right, little man. Don't mind if I take this, do you? Yeah, man, look at the art direction, man. There's a lot of love in this game. You can see it. Gorgeous. Right. Just walk into people's rooms. That's crazy. I doubt that I'll find any of them value, though, right? But it, you know, this is them saying the players are gonna want to go everywhere. Oh, look, I just found some harps, harp spud, robo rings. Interesting. Come out on the balcony. Gorgeous. <laughs> right? It's just like there's so... It just feels like you can go anywhere, you know what I mean? So it's like... And discover anything. If you must go off on your own, there's naught to be done. I am... Okay, what's this? Oh, wow. Okay. Only prize patrons who make frequent use of the portal. 
Reed Services are entitled to purchase the platinum car that will allow them to enjoy the privacy of these exclusive birds. Interesting. I hope you'll return. My apologies, sir, but as you are not a member of this establishment, I cannot permit you through. Wow. Okay. I'll be back. Let me go to the tavern. Stay on task. Yo, chill. <laughs> Yo. For the eons, bro. That's terrible and funny at the same time. Imagine that. <laughs> Imagine that, yo. Oh, man. All right, I think I have to go downstairs. And got myself turned around here. Must we run everywhere. You are yo. a patient one, Arisen. Yo. No time to catch your breath. Try to keep up. Jeez. Relax. This ladder can take us to new heights. Perhaps yeah, new man. discoveries await us about. She's feisty. Come on, you talk to her real quick. Master, I vow to weigh my every word before speaking. And when in doubt, I shall hold my tongue. Talk to me nice. All right, bet. Shakir's in. All right, buddy. Well met. You are come to Shakir's in a place of rest. Yo, go ahead and get that shit, brother. I promise you, you're not gonna regret it, bro. Promise you. You will soon forget the fatigue of a long journey when treated to the foremost hospitality in all Vernworth. Yeah, look at that. I knew it. Two thousand. Disrespectful, man. All right, hold on. First of all, let's get right. Let's drop off some lead material. And let's store this. Aged. Okay, cool. I should work again. What should I be combining right now? What could I give up? Okay, so I can make me some dry fish. Oh, wow, damn. Okay, cool. It seems like there's a lot to find. Oh, so I can make a bouquet of flowers. A noon bloom and a sun bloom makes a bouquet. Why not? Yeah, I can give it to somebody. I'll give it to the barber. I'll get a discount. Yeah, so actually what I'm doing right now is I'm actually combining items that I have um, in order to save space and optimize carry weight. You paid three ninety. dollars <laughs> You funny, bro. Real. Quite real. We'll make a roberin. Yes, that's quite powerful. Ah, we can make some exquisite dried meat. And we we'll just make some dried meat. Okay. 
I don't think I want to say for stuff to age. Alright, we're gonna put this stuff away so it doesn't go bad. Put that away. I didn't really find myself using these, but actually, I have four of them, so I should be free. Okay. Put that away. Let's put this away too. Alright, I'm already in the capital. So, Jay, I bought this thing. It says that I can put something inside of it. Uh, I'm curious to know what that might be somewhere later down the line. Or maybe if I can give it to someone as a gift if they, if they like, mention that they could use a jewelry box or some, something, something along those lines. That's why I bought it. I may, may not need it at all, but we'll see. Yeah, it's just going to hold on to that. Yeah, exactly right. I'm thinking maybe the barber woman or somebody like that that could give me a discount on something that I really want. As of right now, I'm going to put it away in storage. But I'm those are uh, thing along those same lines. Those potatoes go away. I use him to carry stuff. Him and uh, Blanche. So he's only level four. I'm gonna have to get rid of him eventually. He's been dope though. But I don't think I can keep carrying him, especially since I can't level him up. Um, so I think. I want to switch up my outfit. It's only about a couple points difference. I actually feel the difference in terms of weight. Much obliged. Okay. Switch up our gear. Well met. You are come. You will soon forget the fatigue of a long journey when treated to the former. That's good, brother. All right, let's put that away. Give me more defense, so I'll keep it. Got a couple dope rings on, right and left hand. Um, yeah, I feel lightweight now, I feel much better. Most hospitality in all. That's good, brother. That's a long drawing thing. That's four camping packs. Alright, let's rest. Let's rest till the morning. Nothing to report, I'm afraid.
Okay. Yeah, I've seen that. Hopefully, I'll be able to uh, advertise my pawn as well. Should we hunt a few monsters to start the day off? Off we go then. Just of camping equipment. A bunch of flowers. Is this my stuff? Spies on hand just in case. Interesting. Is that going to be logged? Nice. Use of the fairy stone will take you to the location of the portal. Ten different locations. The Bordel of the Lady of the Night. Oh, Sebastian, the little kid. Must have been him. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, it only makes sense, brother. to me. I have all the big boy stuff. Word. I like, uh, I have somebody named Hazel. Um, definitely fire. I love that we can also equip our pawns with, uh, with rings as well. So I put one on her to help her be sturdier and um, get knocked down less in battle. And my philosophy in terms of like resource distribution is with the hired pawns. I always make sure to give like uh, the mage. I don't really feel like I need to give him more than one healing item because he can always heal himself. Um, but like with uh, a fighter um, or with a pawn that's going to be in the thick of battle, then, you know, I'll give them like multiple um like health health drafts or whatever just to make sure that like they're good being that they can heal themselves um so i really do appreciate that it really feels like you know you have an intelligent team that you're running with um you know a capable team and they obviously can be killed I ha i've um luckily haven't had that happen yet though i'm sure it will happen I need to go through that experience to learn why it happened. Um, but generally speaking, um, you know, like I've had a pretty good time, like with my with my pawn so far, and like anyone that I've um, interacted with. I actually got this Blanche woman from like a Forgotten Roofstone. 
Um, so she was level nine. So she was like high, she was like three or four levels higher than me for, you know, a little while until I um, until I kind of like uh, caught up to her or whatever. So, but I noticed that. Oh wow, damn, damn, my brother. I'm sorry to hear that, man. Yeah, man, that shit's crazy, bro. I almost died to the brine, but I was able to, uh, like, kind of survive or whatever. But, like, yeah, man, that definitely sucks. I do find myself, like, um, you know, building a rapport with these things. You know, obviously, like, it's just AI or whatever, but you do find yourself kind of caring about them a little bit. You know, you don't want to see them get hurt, um, either as a, as a matter of pride or, like, you know, you might actually end up, like, caring about these characters. Like, look at Obvious. He's level four. Like, everyone else has far surpassed him. But, like, he's been so cool, like, that it's been hard for me to let him go. But I know, just looking at my party composition now, I know it's time, though. But um, it's bittersweet. Yeah, man. It was an interesting game, man. Definitely something that this is this is an experience I'm gonna cherish and um, and take my time with it. Like there's depth to everything, which but like, yeah, like you have to like hats off to them, you know. And this is the kind of gameplay that I think might cause a, a shift in the industry just in terms of like the way that they um, handle party AI. Like I've not played Rebirth yet, so, and I have limited experience with Remake, so I'm not really familiar with the way that AI works in like the Final Fantasy series, but I don't know if it's as advanced or sophisticated as this. I think that, like, for instance, like, the AI in Final Fantasy 16, I definitely found it to be competent, but, like, they weren't really doing much, you know what I mean, most of the time. It was me that, you know, was kind of doing most of it. In this game, it really does feel like, you know, a team effort. Like, when I fought the Ogre or, or the uh, Cyclops for the first time, like, um, like, you know, it really felt like a team effort, you know, that I would not have been able to accomplish if I were just kind of trying to fight this thing one on one and, you know, see the occasional attack from my from my party member. So I think if more RPGs were like this, more people would be inclined to play them. Um, just in terms of like providing you with like what seems to be like very competent AI, like independently capable AI. You know, it's kind of programmed in a way that makes it look somewhat like realistic. I dropped the stuff off. What's this? Well okay. met, sir. Well met. You are come to. You will soon forget the fatigue of a long journey when treated to the foremost. Vitality in all Vernworth. You know where to find me. I met a guy that talked about an elven village, but now that I've met this elf, I wonder if, like, 
if I help the health, if like I'll get access to the vil to the same village that this guy Cali I think was talking about. All right, bet. Time to attack the dead. Uh, it looks yeah, it's so much easier to like see where I'm going at night, or rather during the day. I can clearly see that's a tavern. The end. What's the? Oh wait. Appreciate a coin or two to soothe my throat with a mug of ale. Aye, got some coin to spare your humble storyteller. Sure. Much appreciated. Wait, are you gonna tell me a story or not? Aye, got some coin to spare your hump. Fuck no. What would you of me? I'll have no trouble, thank you. Bro, where's the story? Gather round, gather round, treat your ears to a tale by a master storyteller. And should my tale entertain you? Nay, even if it shouldn't, I would. I paid him before he told me the story. To soothe my throat with a mug of ale. Now, listen close, as today. I shall speak of riddles and monsters with frightful mystique. In the is a ladder. Shall we see where it leads? No, obvious. He delved into a temple of baleful feature, only to be confronted by a four-legged creature. But when our hero drew his blade. Unto him a demand was made. And who the asker? Why, the beast! An uncanny affair, to say the least. Yet there was no time for shock and dismay, as answer my riddle, did the fearsome thing say. The trickery was clear. To respond meant certain doom. But in the midst of his answer, he doubtless be consumed. So a mighty attack did our hero dispense to conquer his... Look, master, a treasure chest. We shall have to find a way to reach it. The towering beast repelled to quail in fear at the mortal strength it beheld. Such is the legacy of Lord Rosamond, who, needless to say, was the father of House Berkeley, which lives on to this day. Gather round, gather round, treat your ears to a tale by a master storyteller. It was once a kingdom of beastrooms. Fascinating. Right, though no definitive records remain. Now, listen close, as today I shall speak of riddles and monsters with frightful mystique. In the north of Vermont is our curious tale staged, where ventured a hero off left of the page. He delved into a temple of baleful feature, only to be confronted by a uh, botanical break, creature. so be regaled by this story. Give me about two or three minutes. I appreciate it. An uncanny affair, to say the least. Yet there was no time for shock and dismay, as answer my riddle, did the fearsome thing say. The trickery was clear. To respond meant certain doom. But in the midst of his answer, he doubtless be consumed. So a mighty attack did our hero dispense to conquer his foe and banish it thence. With a single strike was the towering beast repelled to quail in fear at the mortal strength it beheld. Such is the legacy of Lord Rosamond, who, needless to say, was the father of House Berkeley, which lives on to this day. 
Gather round, gather round, treat your ears. What did you think of that story? It was well told and all, but not particularly exciting, eh? I mean, it's the sort of thing you hear bandied about the tavern every other night, isn't it? I'd heard tell of a beggar doing well for himself, so I came out here to learn his ways. I haven't learned much, that's for sure. And by the look of it, he doesn't appear to be making much for his efforts, neither. So where's all his coin coming from, then? Makes a man wonder it does. Interesting. Gather round, treat your ears to a tale by a master storyteller. And should my story entertain you, nay, even if it shouldn't, I would greatly I'd heard tell of a beggar doing well for himself, so I came out here to learn his way. So where's he get his coin then? Should my story entertain you? Nay, even if it shouldn't, I would greatly appreciate the point of Greetings. Welcome to the Guild Hall. Here, we conduct all manner of procedures pertaining to vocations. If there is aught I may assist you with, simply say the word. Okay. Now we got some XP to play with. Yo, Jay, do you know have you noticed that your on gains a little more XP than you do? Or I guess discipline points? That's what's been happening with me. I don't mind it, obviously, but it's interesting.
This one's nice. This one's really nice. I'm not going to get it yet, though. I'm trying to, like, get skills that, will, like, I can, like, string together. Not even, like, the tra traditional sense of doing combos, but, like, almost, um, or combos, but more around movement than actual attacks. Yeah, you know what? This is this is I should get this. I should get this instead. We're gonna get this instead. Absolutely. So now we're gonna gain back some health whenever we kill an enemy. Love that. Forgive me. But I'm afraid we are not accepting registration for warriors or sorcerers at this time. Why? You see, as we currently have no archer staves or great swords on hand, we are unable to outfit new members. So I have to do a side quest for the armorer, maybe? And we cannot simply purchase more, as the delivery of arms intended for the local armory and other guilds in this domain was plundered by goblins. Got it. So regrettably, I cannot assist you. Unless you were to procure a weapon yourself, that is. Let me see. What else can I tell you of our guild? So I can force... I love how there are multiple paths. It sounds like either I could, I guess, complete a, some side mission that would unlock weapon deliveries and give them great, great swords and archer staves. Archer staves must be the... Uh, the dual, the dual bladed staffs, twin blades, um, or if I found one myself, then that might unlock it as well. Is what it sounds like. That's interesting. Hey, yo, this shit's official.
Certain vocations are unavailable at present. Let me see. What else can I tell you of our guild? Methinks Roderick will be able to tell you aught of the stolen shipment. He runs the local armory, and we purchase almost all of our stock from him. May fortune smile upon you, sir. Where ought we to begin our search? This ladder can take us to new heights. Perhaps new discoveries await us above. I don't know how they expected me to see that ladder at night, but I see where it is now, though. There's a worthy prize. If only it weren't so far away. Stone, which will allow nice. us to travel vast distances in an instant. Very we must nice. save it for a time of dire need. These writings could be of import. A thorough perusal might reveal aught of interest.
at your leisure. Peruse at your leisure. You think they'd learn from you? That one's a creep up on me. Well met. There are useful ingredients to be gathered here, I'll wager. I say we collect as much as we can carry. Well met, sir. Now hear the welcome call of the living and all of us. If I could, I'd never leave. Peruse at your leisure. Peruse at your leisure. You think they'd learn from that one? Well met, sir. Peruse at your leisure.
Nice. Yeah, I'll be getting there shortly. I'm trying to figure out if I can jump across here, though. I don't think I can throw somebody across. I have a running head start. Like, will they let me jump? Oh, shit. No. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> wow. Jesus. Well met, sir. Uh-huh. There's something written here. A thorough perusal might reveal aught of interest. That's so crazy. I'm not even going back up there, man. Fuck that. It's not worth it. That's fucking crazy. Captain will have my head if I skip another patrol. Hmm. What about well met? You are come. You will soon forget the fatigue of a long journey when treated to the foremost hospital. in all Vernworth. You know where to find me. I've heard some interesting These make up. I've heard the same. It would seem the Queen Regent has made significant alterations to the chain of command.
She's a little fun to brighten my day. Look, master, a treasure chest. We shall have to find a way to reach it. Greetings. Welcome to the Guild Hall. Here we conduct all manner of procedures pertaining to vocations. If there is aught. Forgive me, but I'm afraid we are not accepted, you see, as we currently have no and we cannot simply purchase, so regrettably I cannot. Let me see. What else can I tell you of our guild? Methinks Roderick will be able to tell. He runs the local armory. May fortune smile upon you, sir. We should begin by asking ourselves, where is it and how can we get it? Here you are, master. I hope you like it. I found it myself. I gotta see some footage, my brother. Actually, speaking of which, now that I've rested, does my pawn have an ID? Yes. Awesome. All right, cool. So I can share my pawn ID now after I've leveled her up a little bit. Amazing. <laughs> That's it. I've had enough. Clear off. And don't come back till you're ready to do business properly. But 
I've got the coin, I swear it. I simply just... Where is it then, eh? Bring the coin, all of it, or I'll call the sentinels on you again. Are we clear? The lad seemed rather ignorant of the world. Hasn't had anyone to show him the proper way, I'd wager. So I have a few side quests that are populating here, but... I love it. The quest log updates immediately. So while there's no hand-holding, there's still a very... Um, the system of logging everything that that you encounter, and it's up to you to remember, especially around like the NPC logbook. Took me about an hour to realize I should probably start favoriting some of the people I want to interact with later. Um, so it's the, these subtleties that I'm really enjoying. Her, she's fairly important. She wanted me to meet somebody. I think she wanted me to meet the, uh, the Commander Gregory. But I wonder if maybe she'll have some role later. This guy I definitely want to meet again. Whether I kill him or whether he's the pathway to some like treasure or some secret weapon, being that he's so greedy, um, remains to be seen. But I love that the game is making me think that way. Her, she's nice, so she's the daughter of that vendor, so I'll keep her at the top of mind. Brother of somebody that I helped out. I don't need to favorite him to remember him. This is the guy who told me about the Elvin village. He said somewhere near where he lived. And it wasn't Melv, but it was the town. I think it was the outpost. I wonder if he was talking about the same place, maybe uh, near uh, the uh, Tanvo Mai, I think it is, or Vento. And I think, ironically, one of the monster culling mission, maybe not ironically, but perhaps by design, some of the main, I guess, side quests are alongside or in close proximity to some of the other ones. Um, some of the optional ones, I'd imagine. So, uh, the Gwendir, or Glindir, I think that's his name, the uh, Elven quest, where I have to teach him how to use the bow and arrow, or the human bow, is near like a monster calling mission, I think. So, once I go over there, I'll knock out both. Klaus. Nice. Are you just avoiding them? Or are they just flying? Or are they just like... Actually, don't tell me. I love it, bro. So they're adept, to, you know, even to the quest themselves. I mean, this is the kind of game I could play for the rest of my life, to be honest. You know what I mean? Like, I'm always going to love my fast Twitch stuff. Um, but... These are the kind of games that I find a lot more gratifying. Oh, brother, no, no. Brother Grounded, man. What a pleasant surprise, man. Thank you. I'm having a lot of fun so far. I did just catch like a silly death. Just uh, fell off a roof. But you weren't here to see that, so it didn't happen. Good to have you here, though. I'm just uh, going through my NPC logbook to make sure that I'm favoriting everyone that I find uh, particularly interesting. I'm not sure if there'll be any like additional quest lines tied to them later. So I'm almost done though. Some of these people hate. Some of these people I'm not really I don't remember, but I don't think that they're that important. Like this guy was just teaching me a lesson, he died. For now. Actually, you know what? No, I'll keep him. Maybe I'll see him again. Shakir owns the inn. Stanley is the gatekeeper. 
She just seems like a helpful woman in the village. She seems like she's an armor, or like a low level one anyway. This little kid, full of mischief. He owns a shop. Okay. Good money. Excitation. Maximum health. Okay, now I have my own version of that. Oh, no, I have two of them. If I can sell them, maybe. Or. Give it. Carbon. She can equip it on her right hand. That's what I'm trying to do now. Excellent. Spent so much time just like doing inventory management, it's actually kind of satisfying. position now where I can probably give away a couple of these things. Sugar stone. Opia stone over there. Go herself. Carbon has to be that's okay for now. Okay. That's a good number. As far as this rows, health, health, stamina, stamina. Oh, brother grounded. I, I already am, man. It's it's a dream come true to be honest. Um, and you know, and I've taken to it. Like where something like this would have, I think, intimidated me years ago. Like now, I'm just. Um, it's gratifying to take the time to learn the systems. Because it'll just make things that much easier in the future. The one thing that I haven't figured out, and Brother Jay, if you're here still, um, if I, I'm not sure if I can assign different items to um, my quick pouch, I guess. Because it seems like up is assigned to health. Uh, down is assigned to, like, some stamina item. Um, and then the right, I think, is tied to something else. not even sure what it is. Left opens the menu, but can I customize that? Okay, where do I do that then? I have no idea. I haven't looked very hard to be honest. I might have spent like a minute or two looking, but where when it wasn't where I thought it would be, I uh, I abandoned the search fairly quickly. Right for the lantern, right? Exactly. Yeah. So yeah, I've already programmed myself to do that. Um, but I'm starting. I, I want to. I want to like kind of you know sort of program myself to use the uh, quick menu as well. But it'd be nice to know that I could uh, customize it. You know, and have like special items. Like for instance, I would definitely keep. Yeah, I saw that you posted that earlier. Yeah, this again. I'm gonna be playing this for a long time, bro. Yeah. Yeah. I. In, in fact, like you know. By the time the Elden Ring um, DLC comes around, I might still very well be immersed in this game. I'm taking my time with it. I'm not competing with anyone. Like, you know, this is my journey, so I'm definitely going to enjoy it. I really look forward to, uh, you know, seeing what else is uh, what else is in store. Cool. Long term immersion. Yeah, it makes sense. Makes sense. Uh, yeah. um, what I'm trying to figure out here is like you can see, I kind of have an abundance of items that um, I could use for like health boosts or stamina boosts. But I'm wondering, like, it'll take me some time to figure out what I don't need to carry. 
I've been kind of carrying everything because my status has remained light um, thus far. Um, but, you know, because I kind of want to be ready for everything. But I think, like, I guess, like, while I explore regions, I'll figure out, like, okay, like, there tend to be enemies that, like, can proc poison. So I'll bring that. But otherwise, like, I don't always need to have it on me. Um, until carrying capacity becomes moot. Okay, nice. So yeah, it's a nice familiarity for the people that are familiar with, the, uh, or rather that are uh, that you know that love the franchise, you know that have played it. Um, apparently, like you know, the first one came out like over a decade ago, like what twelve or thirteen years ago. So uh, this is definitely probably this is probably a revelation for those people. Rather, it's a revelation for me. For them, it's. You know, who knows what it is. It must it, it must be like a deeply, you know, gratifying, maybe, you know, maybe even I think visceral will be the wrong the wrong the wrong word, but gratifying I think would probably be the word that I would use to describe how I would feel if like, you know, this is like a love letter to the to the franchise essentially, because in a lot of ways it's it's the same it's the same game, right? It's the same story being told again and again. Um you know, and so in that way, there's that sense of familiarity. Um, you know, and I think it would just make sense. They probably just had those assets lay, laying around, you know. So, like, why not update them and, and include them in the game to provide that monster variety that they knew, you know, people would want to see in a game like this. So, very exciting. Um, I just want to head back to the end real quick. Actually, no, I don't. No, I think we're okay. Yeah, this is the year of the RPG for you, uh, Brother Grounded. They can be most convenient, though they only travel during the day. Okay. I just want to take a look. Sorry, lady. Now, I wonder. Yeah, man, all in due time, bro. Take your time, brother. After you arisen. I can appreciate you for uh, for doing that. Oh, uh, for taking your time. I actually want to make sure that I wasn't going to drop anything off. Brother Jay, don't forget about the uh, updating of the mini menu or the pouch, whatever. You get a moment. Because I've opted to uh, for removing that, like that tool tip, as much as we can carry. Um, in the bottom right hand corner of the screen, just because I feel like it kind of takes away from the immersion, and I was able to kind of memorize the different commands very quickly. So I think it's like a, a testament to to. Um, the game design, like how everything's you know, pretty intuitive. Yeah, and once you've memorized it, like, you know, everything you know, pretty much feels like second nature. So I think that they did that in a, you know, in an effort to uh, facilitate that no HUD experience that I think that they, they hope everyone eventually, eventually plays. You know what I mean? Like eventually in time, my health bar, my stamina bar, if there was a way that like in God of War, that's a, that's one in Ragnarok. I feel I feel like they implemented that very well. The um, the immersive. Uh, I think they they called it immersive it may be the one setting. It. Um, in the sense that, like, you could swipe up on your touchpad when you wanted to actually see certain pertinent um, information, and then you could toggle what information you saw once you swiped the touchpad. Um, I think that more games would benefit from implementing a system like that, uh, personally. Yeah, but the, I think the menu, the menu management actually is much more intuitive than, than even Elden Ring. And um, I think, like, traditionally Souls games. Um, and 
or maybe I don't know. Maybe I'm like I don't want to really like it's not really an indictment on Souls games, right? But like maybe it's because of Souls games that this is so intuitive for me. This is something that like you know comes pretty naturally to me. But I also feel like they streamlined it in some ways. Like I feel like Elden Ring. Um, I think that there's that there was still more a lot more information that they inundated you with. I think this game has done a really good job of kind of simplifying. Everything that you need, sort of what I would call like dashboarding, which you'd be familiar with because you build reports, you know what I mean? So sometimes you have to visualize those things. And if you can do it in a way that's sim simple but effective, like and intuitive, then, um, you know, hats off to you. They make it's a lot harder than it looks, than, it's, than it seems. What the fuck is this? Oh, shit. There are 204. Oh, okay, yeah. All right, I can bring these to the vocation so guild. Difficult. Awesome. The of discovery never gets old. Huh. Yo, in the dialogue, brother. Yo, brother Brown, you hear this shit? Jay, you hear this man? This dialogue is so. They had them secret tokens, bro. And this is why I understand, like, why the director said that, like, fast travel is boring, like. Because you kind of rob yourself of the opportunity to happen across stuff. And that way, it's less about emergent gameplay and more about like just teaching the, the player to like condition, like teaching us to want to explore, rewarding us for that. Morgues and charnel houses. If a civilian dies, their body will be brought to a mortuary within a few days of their passing. Whether the corpse ends up in Bataz or Vermin's charnel house depends on where it was found. So regionally, bodies will go to different morgues. I don't even know what a charnel is. I have to like look up what that is. I mean, I can infer, but the Arisen can revive the dead using a wake stone so long as they have access to a corpse. So imagine, so okay, so like, Let's say if you have a mission where you're supposed to save somebody and they die, and regionally you know where, okay, where you, where you might be able to find the morgue or the charnel house, then you might be able to revive them and either what, do the mission again? Or if somebody dies before giving you a valuable piece of information, that's a very interesting mechanic. Yo, this, I don't know, bro. This is gaming to me. Like, I don't know. Like, just like what you said, Grounded, it's, it's really about, like, emergent gameplay as well. Like, the innovative systems that, they, that these developers are still coming up with to keep things fresh, you know? Just when you think that, they, that they've kind of thought of everything, they, they figure out a way to, to implement things further or take things a step further, I should say. It is here that the bodies of those who fall in vermin are first kept and tended to. I beg you to conduct yourself with care and with a reverence befitting of one who walks among the dead. Pray keep your voice low. You are more than welcome to return any time. Sedan. I don't know if I even want to go down there. Let's go check it out. Look at that RE engine lighting, bro. I, have, I haven't experienced any frame dips except for when I was in the tavern. Outside of that, like, within the city, it's been highly performing. Shards are treasures to be prized, though oh. only when made whole can they work their magic. You Thank you, Obvious. Not to throw it away by mistake. He's my favorite pawn. Look, rounded. My favorite pawn, bro. Level four. I haven't swapped him out yet, man. And I can't level him up, unfortunately. So I gotta let him go, but I haven't been able to do it yet. See what else we might find down here. Gotcha. 
And there's like wind and stuff. It sounds just like a crypt would sound. Ooh, I found a weight stone. Awesome. Okay. All right, I think we can run now. Oh, can I go down further? Uh oh. Oh. Okay. Oh shit. Alright, you're a worker. Oh, that's an exit. Another loop, huh? What could yon chest be hiding? So now what the game is. No game is taught. contain treasure, you know. What the game has taught me then is that if I want to find wake stone stones, a good place to farm them would be in morgues or charnel houses. Nice. And now we're in the slums. Look at this, man. They cook, man. They absolutely cook. Right, Jay? Gather these now. It would be a shame to forget their location when we need them most. Uh, oh, look at that. We can. Sorry, ladies. I know you guys have been planting these harp smugs. Oh, no, it's greenwares. Hello. <laughs> oh, you can have that. You can have that. It feels. It will feel weird, right? It would be immersion breaking for me to pull these, unless they would stop watering it. But I, I don't think they went that far, so I'm, I'm gonna leave it alone. Pray grant those less fortunate some salvation. Yo, Jay, you're, you're a terrible person, fam. <laughs> well met, Sir Arisen. Might I trouble you for arms for the poor? Kendrick, the Kendrick Lamar. Give food. I can give you food, bro. Wait, don't I have any food? Few can afford perpetual generosity. I hope you will return should you find the means to give. Yes, absolutely, Kendrick. I'll be back, bro. I got some food for you guys. I'll come back later. Okay. Oh, wait, did I miss somebody else? This guy that I never really talked to. Yeah, I think it was him, but I didn't even talk to him. He just kind of was just like, all right, well, I'll keep him in mind then. I was just going to ignore him. Okay. Arms, arms for the poor. Pray grant those less fortunate some salvation. Okay, guys, don't we have? Don't want any of us have food, or oh, put it all away.
Aha. The Volk saw Nimini. The silence and the scuttle. The silence and the scuttle. Why would I use that? That sounds interesting. Interesting. Seems like everyone always wants something. Don't mind if I do, man. Thank you. You want... And here I was hoping for some great treasure. Now I feel a fool. We'll find it's a all... use for it, I'm sure. Yeah, it's all good. Let's head down to the beach. The slums there are useful the ingredients to be gathered here, I'll wager. We could pick some now and use them when the need arises. Oh, this is a bar. Well met. This here is the sanctuary of tipplers and men. I assume you'll be starting off with a mug of the good stuff. See Roderick real quick. Just want to show you what I've done. What I'm Is a chest. I've been pretty kind to me. You don't need to be a bitch. First quarter. What did I find? A cave, maybe? Proper's quarter, so that would mean proper's like literally props. I'm not gonna find anything too crazy here then. And there we have it, props. Next turn, proper's quarter. Oh shit. Hello, I'm not ready for you yet. Like this. It is something I found. I wanted you to have it. Hello?
Damn, yo, there's so much to explore. I can't. I gotta stay on point, though. Jesus, like I could walk all the way over there if I wanted to, right? Like, oh my gosh, I'm never gonna get anything done in this game ever. Like, jeez. All right. I'm sure I'll. I'm sure it'll be occasion for me to come back. Not yet. I'm going to go hunt some monsters in a second. I love how realistic the MP NPC behavior is. You can always pass the time to make it light again. Forget that I need to save frequently. He's leaving. That sucks, man. Yeah, did you, did you see that, Griffin? I'm not saying, like, did you see it on stream, but have you seen it on your own playthrough? Okay. Did you engage it? It is a ladder. Shall we see where it leads? Perhaps new discoveries Many. await but, us above. But did you see that? Did you see that one in particular, brother? Okay. So ironically, during like Link has been streaming some of his playthrough on um on Twitter. And um actually I think he like posted like a highlight of him meeting it and trying to fight it, but it flew away. And I didn't know that I was going to see it, but I didn't engage it and it flew away. So I don't know if that means that it's not going to come back for me, which would suck. Um, because I, I mean, I would have just fought it if that were the case. Um, but like the, like, I remember like reading something that the world said that like certain things sort of, um, respawn in the world, like bridges and stuff like that you destroy. I'm wondering if that also would apply to this Griffin being that I didn't actually engage with it, but I guess we'll see. That's one of those cases where exploration might have hurt me a little bit. Oh, I found it. I was going to kill myself and jump across this place before to try to figure it out. That's ironic. I was going to die there fucking lantern oil. Wait, no. This might not be the one. The same, the same watchtower. I think it is, though. Let's go. That 
else here. Oh, this door is still locked even during the day. Probably a certain time of day, maybe. Okay, this is where you see frame drops a little bit here in the square if you move too fast, it seems. It seems to settle. I know you've already told me about it. Oi, friend. Klaus sent word that you've agreed to rescue some of my pilfered equipment. Okay, good. I'd be grateful for aught you can reclaim, truly. Fair warning. Goblins are behind these ox cart raids, I've since learned. No doubt they're hoarding the stolen arms in their den. Okay. From the tell of it, their lair lies somewhere along the western road. Pray do be careful. If all were to go awry, it would weigh heavily on my heart. Losing my wares for good would make me sore. But no sack of gold can compare to a fellow life, eh? The goblin's lair. I hope you can reclaim aught from the fiends. It would bring me peace of mind to know someone taught them a lesson at least. It takes two to make a sale, and this yeah. seller had nothing to tempt us with. Our funds are better spent elsewhere. Yeah, that's what I expected then. All right, I'm going to take a small break here. Um, where can I sit? No, I don't look, I don't want to look at your wares. How about you? I always have a warm welcome for a customer. Oh, really? Who are you? Monsters and bandits are a plague upon my business. Are you insulting something? Okay. So these guys, so these timer vendors. I've heard there's a means to tell if someone who claims to be arisen is in fact the real thing. See, there's an oracle up in the palace, whose powers allow her to divine whether the arisen yet lives. There's only one arisen in the world, so no matter how many pretenders come forth, the oracle can see through their lies. Although, come to think of it, is that really proof? Does the Oracle know who the Arisen is, or only that they exist? Good question. I guess I'm just going to... have benches at certain points of interest. I think there's one at the tavern. It seems like the frames drop in that particular now, hole. A worthy prize. If only twerk so far away. It's about to be evening. I'm, I'm going to go hunt during the day. What is this place? This is a place for pawns? This ladder this can take us to new heights. Oh, that ladder? Interesting. How do I get up there, though? Need anything? 
So ladders above. Okay. I'll try to remember that. Interested in my wares? Go on, have a look. Oh, I can actually change the change the inclination of my palm. Interesting. And I can buy this if I want to edit my own appearance with that of the palm at any given time. He has two of them. I can buy these for 500 thrift crystals. Affectation, oft assumed by nobles. While they do give off an intellectual impression, one cannot expect them to deflect even the dumbest blade. So they're just purely cosmetic. A gentler, noble air. Interesting. Best buy what you need, lest you rip many thanks. Are you working on uh, your next vocation, Jay? If you're still here, since you've uh, maxed out Archer. This is for you, Master. I thought it might come in useful. The rules at your left. Honest, dumb, growling. Time for an early supper. All the trading was given me a hefty bag. Always another errand to see to. Well met, sir. I 
I've been here so long, I almost forgot why I came. Would that I could spend all day here. Always another errand to see to. Time to be heading home. Who's today, I wonder? Well met, sir. predicament. Living hard, but free I've been free. here so long, I almost forgot why I came. The rules Come at your in. neck, Mr. G. In the mood for a song, it does. I've been here so long, I almost forgot why I came. Hmm. Where will the wind blow me today? My dream is heard of my little simulation. Badly stale. I pity those content to live in my Now here's a welcome sight. Now, where was I bound again? Stomach complaining. I'll have an early supper. Once the stomach is around, it's a long time for an early supper. Could you well match your yeah. soul? The rules at your neck. Now would be to fly when I'm here. Eat your stomach complaining. I'll have an early supper. Really? Now would be to fly Bunch when I'm here. Well, well met, 
Time to be heading home. Everyone's as tired as I am. I'm gonna call it. Yo, Jay, slow here, my brother. I know you don't care because you're grinding. <laughs> it's still bad for uh, anyone else, brother. No, no, as well. You know, I'm not even sure if you're still here. Yeah, I appreciate you, bro. I had a feeling you were still here. I want to acknowledge your presence. Um, grounded. Anyone else who popped up? H. Um, Henry. It was greatly appreciated. You know, I'm going to continue to do this off stream. I'm just like actually eating lunch real quick, and it's just really stupid for me to keep the stream going. So, um, yeah, man, I appreciate it. Enjoy your uh, playthrough, my brother. And uh, we'll compare notes, bro. Peace.